Hello there everyone, my name is Nathan Birch. In this video, we are going to use code on our computer that we already have to create a new GitHub repository. Start to finish 100%. So here I have GitHub pulled up. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. If you don't have an account, go ahead and make an account. And then if I wanna store code from my computer on here, I need to make a new repository. And so right here, I'll just say, you know, I have some programs from an old course. So I'll just say course, um, the old course programs, okay? And obviously if it was for a specific course, I would name it with that specific course name. Okay, we got a couple of things here. I'll go ahead and just leave this page open for now uh, and we'll look at what code uh, we're gonna try to get there. So I have a folder on my computer called course programs and I have a couple weeks worth of files in here. If I look here, you can see I have a few different things um, and I want to push this up to a repository in GitHub. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up VS Code. Okay, and once this is here, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and open up this folder in VS Code. Okay, and so the easiest way to do this, um, let's see if this works. I'm just gonna drag this over into here. Okay, sweet. So we have our course programs up here. You can see I have uh, a bunch of files. Um, and I'm gonna to try to push this up to, to GitHub, all right? So let's go ahead and go through a couple of steps. So we already have this open in VS Code, which is great. We already have a repository made on GitHub, which is great. So now let's go ahead, uh, I'm gonna click on this source control icon and it says the folder currently open doesn't have a Git repository. So we're gonna click on initialize repository, okay? Uh, it says, hey, please enter a message, I'll say, um, adding first three weeks of course. And then I can either hit control or command enter or just hit this check mark and that'll commit all of that code. It's basically like a checkpoint. Um, and so when I look at GitHub, I'll be able to basically look at my code through these checkpoints and see what was added with each checkpoint. Okay, uh, next thing, let's go ahead and hit these three dots and I'll hit push. And this will try to push it to GitHub, but it says your repository has no remotes which means it's not con it's not connected to um, a Git host. It's not connected to GitHub. So I'm gonna say add remote, and then I'm just gonna come over here and copy this link, okay? Well, maybe I should copy this link. I'll copy this link, okay? Um, so this is the one, this is the URL. I'm gonna come over into here and I'll say, oops, I uncopied that, hang on. Copy that and I'll paste it. Okay, and I'll say add remote from that URL. It says, please specify a remote name. Okay, so I'll just say origin. You could call this anything you want, but I pretty much always use origin and that's the default. So I'll say origin and I'll hit enter. Okay, so now you can see nothing really happened. If I come over here and I hit refresh, it didn't change. None of my code has been saved here yet, uh, but the remote has been added. So I should be able to hit push now. Uh, branch master has no upstream branch. Would you like to publish this branch? Yes. Let's go ahead and publish it. Okay, and we won't have to click that again. We won't have to add the remote again, um, but it looks like it stopped spinning and we should see our code here. Okay, so pretty quick, just a couple of minutes. Uh, if I wanted to make a change to one of these files, uh, I'll come back to my file explorer. Let's say, oh, we're in week four. I'll add a week four and then I'll add a new file in here. I'll just call this temp.py. We'll say print something and I'll save it, okay? Now you'll notice this is all green. It's showing, hey, you made a new file. If I click on here, it'll show, hey, you made a change here. I can click on this and see what the change was. Previously, there wasn't anything in temp.py because it didn't exist. And now we have print something, okay? So I'll go ahead and enter a message. I'll say adding first file for week four. And then I'll go ahead and click on push. Okay, we'll let this little spinner finish up. And then once it does, I should be able to come over here, refresh, and you can see now there are two commits. One was two minutes ago, one was 10 seconds ago. So you can see my week four folder was modified 10 seconds ago, and it should have this temp.py file with this print something in it. Okay, so hopefully this helps. Uh, VS Code, this, this GUI, this graphical user interface in here is great for working with Git. I really, really like it. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you.